In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to double your FPS in Roblox. So the, what, the method I'm going to teach you today is really, really good for getting more FPS. Basically, if you have um, some low FPS, then it's going to allow you to, or it's going to unlock the graphic settings. So you're going to have like a graphic slider and you're going to have way more settings inside of Roblox. So you can actually go ahead and change your settings. So before I get into the video, I just want to say, please make sure you pay close attention to the video and watch the end to ensure you get every step correct. And you don't mess anything up because if you do mess something up you may not be able to log into roblox and you may break it now one more thing is that i'm considering doing a robux giveaway so if you want to see that then please comment down below that you want to see a robux giveaway and then i will consider doing that in the next video so let's get right into the video the first thing that you actually want to do is you want to go ahead onto google and there's a file that you need to download uh, i can leave the file description I'll link in the uh, description basically this is what it is and it's client app settings so this is a custom uh, settings that you can uh, go ahead and download so now that I've downloaded this client app settings here what we're gonna need to do is we need to actually go into our Roblox folder so depending on where you've saved your Roblox uh, is gonna change a bit but one way you can do it is you can open up Roblox on here Roblox and you can go down here to open file location now for me, because I've downloaded mine on Microsoft, it looks a bit different, but you know, you can fiddle with it. So one thing I'd recommend first is close Roblox. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to, um, I'm just going to close these. I'm going to go to type in run. I'm going to go to percent app data percent here. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go back to app data. I'm going to go to local and I'm going to go down to find my Roblox folder. Here we go, Roblox. And then you just have a folder here called Client Settings, this one here. And, okay, that's for Studio App. There might be one for Versions. Let me check this. Okay, yeah, so you want to... There, there'll be a few... It, it might look a bit different, but basically you want to go to Versions. And you want to go on the latest version, so the version you're actually playing on. This, I think this is my version here. Yes, this one here. So once you're in here, you might see a folder called client settings. Have a look here. If you find it, then use that. If not, we have to create one. So you can see I actually do not have a client settings folder. So I'm going to have to create one myself. So basically go new folder client settings like this. Then we want to go and grab that file that we've just downloaded. And I'm going to find it here. We want to click and drag this into the client settings folder and we actually want to rename this i believe to actually no i think that's perfect is that right let me check okay yeah those are actually that's actually the correct name for it so now we can go ahead and close that we can actually open up roblox now um i'm just gonna run it and now we're going to a game we should have the updated fps settings so we go into a game like this we should be able to get the settings. Now, if you don't get the settings right away, you may have to restart your computer. We'll have a C here to see if I have to restart mine or not. Any second now. Taking a little second to load in. Okay, I'm finally in the game here. And I'm gonna go down here, settings. And you can see, look, I have the graphics modes here. So I can go automatic or manual. I can put that down or up. If you want more FPS, then go all the way down if you don't care. You know, you can turn performance stats on, so it'll tell you the FPS you're getting. So if I resume my game now, I can see that my ping is 55. Um, tells you how much GPU I'm using. It does it all that kind of stuff here, which is um, pretty useful to see. But basically, this will allow you to increase your FPS pretty quickly. So if you did enjoy this video and you found it useful, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. And also comment down below this video did help so other people can watch this video and get helped out too. So thank you for watching.